Hey everybody, it's Julie here, also known as Envire Style Apparel. Welcome back to my channel. Hope it's not too windy. If it is, I will be redoing this at home anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, as we all are at the moment, with lockdown looming again, we are all panic buying. So, with that in mind, I am going out. Um, Rob is waiting at home to get our parcels picked up of stuff we've already sold and I'm going out to my local clearance and see what I can get. It's a Dove house and um, if you're a regular on here you'll have seen it on my channel. Anyway, let's hope I get some good stuff and a great video comes from this. See you on the other side. Welcome to part two of my panic haul because it's going to be lockdown video that will be shown during lockdown. So today I am going to the clearance centre which I will have already mentioned so I won't go into that again. And I am still looking for the same stuff I was before. I'm looking for comfy clothes, clothes that are going to bring in a decent profit because I am getting my parcels picked up during lockdown. So we are having to go out to the post office or drop off centres. So I do need to be making a decent amount in order for that to be worthwhile. So profits still in mind, looking for good stuff. Thought that t-shirt was funny so I had to show you all. <laughs> Yes, everything here is a pound, um, apart from the bric-a-brac, but I'll explain that at the end probably anyway. But yeah, I got some pretty decent stuff, so stay tuned to the end, as always, to see what I got. Um, I do really like this shop. I did find there was a lot of people in here today, but there's going to be, isn't there? If we're all going to be locked up for a month, I think that's what everyone's going to be doing. They're going to be out shopping, whether it's for themselves or to sell, just to get out the house why not um so yeah um it was quite busy but you know there's a lot of um tat to go through in these shops but you do find the odd treasure so um yeah i'm really pleased with what i got so i can't wait to show you at the end <laughs> but yeah this is part two um i do have a little story about what i was going to name it as well so stay tuned for that um, there were some interesting bits in here today. I'm sorry about the footage as usual. I do try my best to get the best footage that I can. Yeah, it's a bit hit and miss. That's all I can say. <laughs> Skirts. Yeah, not great today. But I did find one banger that is coming up and I'll let you... Uh, well, we'll see if you can see it with the footage. I don't hold much hope seeing this myself as I'm watching it. I'm like cringing a bit. <laughs> again stupid fun doing stupid angles i do apologize but i had to keep it in otherwise my video will be too short <laughs> no i just wanted to show you to be fair um nothing exciting really anyway you can fast forward this bit if you want yeah shoes are really good in here or really bad there's no in between if you're shopping for yourself amazing i mean i could probably get about six or seven pairs i like here but i really don't need any shoes and I don't think Rob would be too impressed if I turned up with a load of stuff for myself. Although it is quite tempting. <laughs> yeah, not so much going on here. But, um, yeah, it's either all good or all rubbish. There's no in between. I bought four or five pairs at one time from here before. And then today and the last few times I've been, nothing. Right, I like to show you the bric-a-brac because I think it's interesting. I did buy those a salt and pepper thing for Rob because he's been wanting them for ages so they are currently downstairs soaking while I'm showing you this um I don't know anything about 
ornaments and crockery and glassware. Um, I do know that I would break it if I took it home, so I don't. <laughs> I buy the odd bit for us, but I don't sell it. We've had a nightmare. I want to know what other people think about posting glass and pottery. The only thing we've ever posted with Royal Mail um, that was glass broke. So gutted about that. So my hat goes off to people that buy it and sell it. Anyway, see you at home. Hello. Right, I'm back. Um, another big bag of stuff to show you. So, um, as you know, I went to the Dove House Clearance Centre. And again, this video will be it'll be uploaded onto YouTube in lockdown. So I haven't been out in lockdown and no shops are open. So yeah, this is going to be uploaded when everything's rubbish. But I'm hoping it will bring a bit of joy to people's lives. And you can see what I bought and, you know, it's something different to look at rather than good old Boris and his face, you know. Anyway, <laughs> everything at this charity shop, if you are new to this channel and you haven't been there with me before in my videos, everything's a pound. Barring the bric-a-brac, that's three for a pound. I think CDs are five for a pound. Same with DVDs, I think. So it's pretty good value. Anyway, I got a few things today that I probably wouldn't normally pick up, but again, this is panic buying part two. Bear with me with this one. But um yeah, so I was gonna <laughs> I was gonna play a trick on my subscribers and anyone that watches that isn't subscribed by doing part one and then part three and then part four and missing out part two completely. And my inspiration behind that is the beloved George Harrison. Now um Everybody knows who the Beatles are, so I'm assuming that everybody knows who George Harrison is. But he was in a band called the Travelling Wilburys after he left the Beatles and while he was doing his solo stuff. And I absolutely adore the man. Um, and he he actually um, did two albums with the Travelling Wilburys and it was Travelling Wilburys Part 1 and Travelling Wilburys Part 3. And it was his idea to call the second album Part 3 to confuse his fans. And I'm pretty sure he's been quoted to say something along the lines of that'll confuse the buggers. <laughs> Which I found was hysterical. And I just thought I could have done that with my videos. But if you're not a George Harrison fan, you're not going to get it. So I just thought I'd say that. Um, so this is going to be Part 2 anyway. So enjoy. Um, I got quite a few good things, I think. First thing was this. Now, a lot of you are probably going to think, what the hell have you bought that fugly thing for? But <laughs> I think it's pretty cool. Um, it caught my eye. It does have an imperfection, which I saw in the shop. But again, I bought it for a pound. Can you see it? There's like a, what I'd call a moth hole but it's not an actual hole. Now I think that can be fixed. It isn't a hole, look, I'm running my thumb inside. Don't look weird at all. But yeah, there's like a mark out of it anyway. But I think if anyone bought this, they'd be able to sort that out. I'm not gonna touch it, I'm gonna list it as it is. I need to do some research on it. It's the Make Rollins. Roland's Clothing, handmade hats made in Florence, Italy by MC Bern Access. And then it's got a website, www.macburn.com. So I will be looking into this. But I just think it's really quirky and cute. Let's put it on for a laugh. Oh, yeah. What do you think? <laughs> I think... Um, yeah, I don't do hats. Anyway, <laughs> don't know how much I'm going to list this for, but even if I list it £10-£15, I still think that's pretty cool. And I do like it, and I think it could appeal to the masses. I see young people wearing hats like that, so it's not just old ladies. Bought this. Now, when I first started doing reselling, I bought a lot of wedding hats. And I did sell them all. I think I've got one left out of about 15, maybe 20. So they did well. 
some of them I got more for than others obviously because some makes are better but I couldn't leave this behind it isn't necessarily a great make I mean well I don't think it is it hasn't, it's only got this one label in it and it's not fancy it says Callista it's 100% polyester it's completely see-through but I just thought it was cute and I just thought you know what I'm gonna get it because I couldn't leave it on its own especially after I bought this little number so yeah, a pound, um, I'm probably going to be looking at 10 to 15 pound for that realistically. Unless it's a great make and I've missed something, I will look into it. But it's in lovely condition. There's nothing wrong with this one at all. So we'll see, we'll see. Then, oh dear, I've mixed everything up in here. I bought this because I thought it was cute. No other reason. Oh, I don't even know how to say this. Is it Paris Ian Collection? It says premium fashion produces, or produce, produces the, oh no, products. <laughs> oh my goodness, I am sorry, I will get there. Premium fashion products handcrafted with love. This is a size eight and it's a play suit. And I know it's not the time of year for play suits, but I just couldn't leave it because it was a pound and it's ever so cute. Look at that. It's got the, like, crocheted um like you know like uh oh i don't even know what you call it i can't think but yeah you can see right through it so you can see your skin through that bit lovely big flowers lovely neckline i reckon i can get about 20 pounds for this maybe a bit more if it's a good make i don't know about this make but i just really like that so i got it Right, there's a couple of things I will warn you that I bought for myself in here. This is one of them. Jasmine London um, is a size 12. I just really like that. But then when I got it home, right, look at the pearls. It's just so pretty. I got it home and I realised that the pattern actually looks like spiders. And I'm terrified of spiders. <laughs> Still going to wear it. Um, it's got stretch to it. It's a size 12. I'm not dreaming. Um, I can get into that because it's stretchy and I thought you know what lockdown clothes don't really care I'll just buy a few bits myself so yeah no money in that one but it was a pound right then I bought these bad boys these are a pair of M&S made in Bangladesh khaki stretch pants regular size 22 M&S collection these are great. They're really stretchy. They're really comfortable. Jegging type jeans, trousers. They've got zip pockets. They've got button and zip fastening. Just checking the pockets. I like to do that because I know you all love my face when I find something gross in there. Usually tissue. But yeah, I reckon £25 for those. So that was a good buy. Oh, I'm banging everything on top of my hats probably not a good idea okay then i found this now this was a good find east size 16 midi skirt lovely pansy type flower patterns i've sworn off this label not because i don't like it not because i think it's rubbish not because of anything like that but it just hasn't sold for me yet I am saturated with East in my shop, but I wasn't leaving this when it was only a pound. So, you know, it is what it is. It's pinks and purples and browns and beiges. Yeah, it's a, it's a summer skirt, really. But again, people staying inside, somebody might want it. Um, if not, it'll go next year. But yeah, um, 30, 40 pound on that. Don't think is unreasonable. Then I got another pair of M&S collection trousers. These are a size 18. They are navy. They are short legged. They are 55% linen and 45 Vico. They have elasticated waistband and they are navy blue. I think, yeah, they're short, so they're not three quarter length, but you could, if you were tall, you could wear them as three quarter length gonna put about 20 25 on those so that's a good one yeah i went mad with the mns today because i sold my mns cord trousers that i did in an earlier video that i said i was going to keep for myself now sadly i got hobbs trousers as well 
and I was going to keep a pair of the hobs for myself and the pair of burgundy cord trousers for myself with stirrups on the bottom. Loved them. Just didn't fit me properly. I put them on and yeah, I could pull them up. Great. I could fasten them, but there was no sitting down being done. <laughs> no sitting down being done without being in absolute agonising pain or the actual trousers ripping. Yeah, that ain't happening anyway. So I sewed them and I put them on and within about four hours, the cords sold. So yeah, happy, but not so happy. Cause you know, and lockdown's coming. So I'm just gonna put weight back on again. But never mind. It's not about that, is it? <laughs> this video is not about my weight loss journey, even though there isn't much of a journey going on right now. But anyway, these are M&S collection again. These are a smashing pair of trousers, quoting Prince George from Blackadder. If you haven't watched that, watch it in lockdown. It's amazing. Especially, I recommend series two and three. If you watch series one and you haven't seen the other ones, you'd probably be put off because it's not the best. But yeah, have a go. Anyway, these are a size 12. They are short legged. They are Blue Mix M&S collection trousers. Cotton elastin, great. I reckon £20 for those, easy. They're a right funky pair of trousers and I think someone will love them. Then, in the spirit of cords and being burgundy, I bought these. Now, these are lovely. These have probably got more chance of fitting me, <laughs> but they are the right style. I don't like um, long, um, straight-legged or flared-legged and these, these, I think, these are on the verge of being boot cut. I might try them on to see. They're either straight or boot cut anyway, but they are burgundy cords. Absolutely gorgeous. Cotton traders, size 16. They have elasticated bits at the side, which are rather cool. I don't think I've seen those on adult trousers. You normally get those on children's and you get the elasticated bits that you can pull or slack under, don't you? But haven't seen these on adult trousers before and I can imagine that would make them rather comfortable. Oh, the colour is called Claret. Love that already. <laughs> um, cotton elastin again. Yeah, so I reckon £30 for these. They are really nice. Unless I try them on and decide I like them because I've always fancied a pair of cords but I just can't seem to find any that fit me nicely. But they've got lovely pockets. They've got a nice button and zip fastening. Yeah, they're cool. One pound, you cannot go wrong. I love this shop because it's just amazing what you can find. Don't get me wrong. Sometimes you go in and there is nothing. I haven't got any shoes from there for a long time. And sometimes I'll go in and buy four or five pairs of shoes. You've probably seen on my videos if you've been here before, but for ages, no shoes at all. Now this I bought just because of the make and the style of the cardigan. I'm just checking it to make sure all the beads are there. Because I don't tend to do that when I pick things up for a pound. I just grab it. But yeah, this is lovely. This is, is it avant-garde? Now I know this is a good make. It's not one that I see a lot on anyone's Instagram or YouTube videos. But this is an extra large. Now I've got a top in this and it hasn't gone away in my bundles to get rid of my cheap stuff so i know it's all right and this is a cardigan but look at it isn't it pretty it's pink like a coral pink and i think it's either navy or but i think it's navy the striping around it and it's got all these lovely beads shiny sparkly beads it's got the hook and eye fastening at the top that keeps popping undone, but it is there, I promise. There you go. Hook eye fastening. Now, I'm probably going to put this on for about 30 to 40 and see how I get on. It's a nice big size. It's a nice colour. It's got the lovely beads there. And as I can see at the moment, I can't see anything wrong with it. So I think that's pretty good. I really like it. Speaking of things I really like, yeah, it's been an M&S day today. I swore off M&S ages ago. I do this with brands. I tend to, one minute I'm all about a brand and the next minute I'm like, no, nope, never buying that again, it's rubbish. And I go on a big chant and a rant about it. And I'm just gonna open this curtain because the sun's gone in now and it looks real dark. 
Oh, I don't like the shadow. <laughs> I'm being like Mariah Carey. Film me from that angle, please. I wish. Anyway, this, um, yeah, m and I, I swore off. Um, but sewed those cords really fast that weren't even meant to be in my shop. They were supposed to be for me. So I thought, I'm going to give them another go because they went really quick. And I know a lot of my friends on Instagram have real good luck with m &S. Again, I suppose, like I always say with brands, it's about picking the right stuff. But yeah, this is, this has got a bit of a funny ticket because it's been cut there, but it is m and Collection. Really like this. It says it's a size 22 on there, but I am going to check because as I always say, do not trust the charity shop's labels because I have brought things home before and they have been the wrong size. Pink mix, size 22. It is a blouse. It is 100% Vico, which is rather disappointing. I thought it would be cotton, but it's not. I'm just checking the buttons are there. Bear with me, guys. Yeah, it's got birds all over it. It's just ace. It's pink. It's like that rose gold pink. And it's got birds all over so make sure the cuffs have got the buttons that one has and that one has excellent yeah 25 pounds for that all day long i would have thought it's lovely isn't it now i can't go that oversized but if if i could i would keep it because it's so nice but anyway yeah i also swore off buying kids clothes but then i saw this i always have a look just in case you never know what you're going to come across monsoon and it smells freshly laundered freshly laundered monsoon 12 to 13 years this is a bridesmaid dress it is so pretty look it's got the lace thick um straps if you want to call them straps so you can call them sleeves but they aren't really a sleeve um satin bodice and skirt it's just so pretty um i don't think it's been worn uh hang on yeah i always think i'm gonna find something wrong because it was a pound but yeah this is lovely it's fully lined it's got the netting in it look it's just gorgeous i'm gonna put this on for probably 40 pounds beautiful bridesmaid dress for when someone can get married now as far as i know they aren't stopping weddings during lockdown but we'll see um, so yeah, that could go pretty quick. Depends if someone needs it. Now again, <laughs> Marks and Spencers. Label has been cut out of this for the size, which is very annoying. But this is a 55% linen jacket. It is fabulous. Look at it. Look at those patterns. The leaves. It's got like a peplum back. It's got pockets at the front with great big buttons on. Look at them great um inside it says it's a size 20 haha -ha, i will not be foiled you know they always cut the labels out it drives me mad drives me mad 55 percent linen 45 percent vico um yeah it is machine washable it has got shoulder pads and i think it is pretty nifty <laughs> again this could be a wedding jacket it could be a business jacket it could be a casual jacket you can wear this wherever you like because it's fabulous wear it where you want wear it on your sofa eating bloody wopsits who cares i think that's really nice so yeah i think i will probably put that on for about 30 35 pound maybe a little bit more this was um a surprise so I used to watch a lady called um, Always Making Lemonade. She has a great YouTube channel. She doesn't tend to post on there anymore, but even her old videos are amazing. So I recommend watching her if you watch me. She's wonderful. I follow her on Instagram as well. She's the same name, Always Making Lemonade. And years ago when I started watching her, I say years ago, it's probably about a year ago, I started watching her videos and she said that she started to feel fabrics and know instantly that something good was in it and I thought how are you going to learn that but you know what you do this is a prime example right there is no tag in this cardigan but I 
felt it as I brushed past it seductively in the shop. <laughs> I think I'm getting locked down head on already. I'm sorry. But anyway, yeah, I brushed past it as you do with cardigans, fingering through the rail. <laughs> anyway, I'm sorry. Saw this gorgeous knit. Is that cable knit? Don't know off the top of my head. I said on my last video, I'm sure it was, it might even been this one. I feel like I've been talking for that long. <laughs> um, that I have on my Instagram an actual um, chart of the different types of knit you can get. So this, because I don't know them off the top of my head, but I think this is cable knit. It's very soft anyway, it's stretchy. Yeah, so, cut a long story short, I knew it was something special. So I looked inside and it's actually by Woolovers, which I know is a good make. And it is Merino Extra Fine Wool. Um, you can machine wash it as well. So it's actually 80% Merino, 20% cashmere. Um, you dry it flat, delicate machine wash, short spin. Uh, not looking forward to washing this, ready to sell, but hopefully I won't shrink it. It's a lovely blue colour. It's like a duck egg blue, is it? What do you call that? Very nice. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know, as always, if you've seen anything that I should have bought or equally if you wouldn't have picked anything up. Now, I think I'm going to put this on for 30 to 40 pound. I think it's lovely. It's great. It's a great lockdown cardigan. If it fits me, it might even stay here. I mean, it was a quid, wasn't it? But yeah, I think 30 to 40 pound, which is probably better for me than keeping it. Anyway, we have bills to pay, people. I cannot be keeping all these clothes. There's no point looking fabulous if you can't afford your roof, is there? You know what I mean? Anyway, said before that I've sworn off monsoon, but I bought this because it's a wool skirt. Um, it is size 14. Can you see that? 14, there you go. Manky nails. It's just a grey cottage core type skirt. Now, if you don't know what cottage core is, it's a trend that is in at the moment. Check it out. Google it, have a look. Be careful not to write the wrong thing. <laughs> it is cottage core. It's got this lovely, like, burgundy, purpley lining. It's just fabulous. It is midi, I believe. I will have to measure it out. It is 55 wool, 17 acrylic, 16 polyester, 7 nylon, 4 elastane. Elastane. Elastine? Who's elastine? <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I think 30, 30 pound for that, 25, 30. Let me know what you think. I mean, it's a nice skirt. I don't wear stuff like this, but uh, people do, people wear it. Right, okay, this one's gonna be a bit complicated. It's in a three piece, so bear with me. Now, I don't even know, <laughs> I feel a bit of a fraud here. I need to count my things, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I've got sixteen, seventeen downstairs, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Right, so yeah, I think he charged me a pound for the whole suit, and it's a three-piece suit. And it's by that lovely make that I always have a struggle saying, is it Heen or Hein? Hein, I think it is. It is a size 12 and it's a three-piece ladies suit. So you get this lovely little waistcoat. All the buttons are there. The buttons are stamped, but they are stamped hinds. They're stamped connections best or best connections. One or the other. It's polyester, I know that, because we were like, why do all these good brands just use polyester when they could be using wool and things like that and it's machine washable which is great news for me it's got pockets in the front so we've got this like a pinstripe brown waistcoat there we go yeah i'm just gonna is it too dark 
Yeah, it's too dark, isn't it, when I draw the curtain? I don't know if that's too bright. <laughs> talking about lighting with a lovely girl on my Instagram the other day, a lovely lady on my Instagram the other day about how lighting makes such a difference to your photographs when you're listing. Turns out it does to your YouTube videos too people. But anyway, I hope you can see this all right. It's got that adjusty, adjusted strap on the back. So yeah, I've got that. And then with it is a pair of trousers. Now the trousers need a wash. There's the the make and everything they are a size 12 i noticed a mark marks on the legs oh, i don't know if you can see it but yeah there are marks on these so these are going to have to be washed so it's oh there you go look you can probably see that one mm. white stains on legs not sure i should be touching that yeah um oh there are buttons in the jacket inside so that indicates but it hasn't been washed, but it has been worn. <laughs> Again, 12 Hein. Lovely jacket. Exactly the same with all the buttons. Fabulous. Pockets, which I always cringe. Yeah, that's good. They're empty. Yeah, so I'm probably going to run this whole thing through the washer just because. Um don't know about this actually with the what would you do if you have something that needs a wash but it has this would you take this off and put it inside the pocket you could do that couldn't you it doesn't really matter whether it's attached to the label or not but these have got a very slight shoulder pad it needs a bit of a trim <laughs> can you see that it needs a little bit like my hair although i have cut it myself but we won't go there it's all right actually it's not bad but yeah, um, I don't know how much I'm going to put this on for. Uh, probably 50 to 100, depending on what I find out. Because it is a three-piece suit. It's very dressy. We'll see. Look, I'm trying to get the right light in. I've got, just looked like my head is like a light bulb. <laughs> right, last but not least. I was a bit worried this was fake, but I don't think it is. This is the last thing I found. Bearing in mind it was in the pound shop, so I was like, whoa. And I didn't, I nearly left it. I saw it on the end of the rail. DKMY, that is Donna Karen New York. This is a size large, I believe. Let me check. It's got nothing exciting in the material whatsoever. There is an RN number though, which is good news for me. Um, yeah. I don't know where they've got the large from. Ah, yes I do. I can see it now. There it is. L. <laughs> Just well hidden. This is a dress. It's a purpley pink, purple and bottom. Cute little dress. Now I'm probably going to really list this as a festive, Christmassy style dress for someone to wear at Christmas, Christmas dinner. I think it's cute, it's heavy, good quality. Yeah, I don't know how much I am going to put this on for yet. Again, estimating 50 to 100, but I don't know because I don't know what Donna Karen New York or DKNY, as she is now widely known um i don't know what that's going for at the minute so i'm gonna have to check it out right i'm gonna come over here because my screen is like lighting up my face like a beacon oh dear maybe i should have stayed over there <laughs> anyway let me know what you think guys i hope you're enjoying the videos i hope i am bringing some amusement to people and i hope that you're all staying safe during lockdown and you're not going too crazy and everything is good. I think this time, if you've got children, it's good because you can get out taking your kids to and from school if they're at that age. Now, we have a 15-year-old who takes herself, but we also have a little boy who is four, so we need to take him. We're taking it in turns. Rob takes him in the morning, I take him, I pick him up on a night, so I will be going to get him soon because it's nearly that time of day. So, anyway... 
thank you so much for watching give me a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed my video look out for more content um i do have other parts to this this is part two of my lockdown hauls um which i done before lockdown as i've probably explained before so i won't bore you with that anyway subscribe hit the bell for regular content and i'll see you all soon ta-ta